Did you get me too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jake Jacobs. I'm a rare breed one these days. Um, I'm a married father with seven kids. Married for 21 years and have seven kids. You don't find too many people like that anymore. Um, I was raised in the Midwest, in Kansas City area, in a middle class family, family uh, with four siblings, or three siblings, there was four of us all together, with uh, mom and dad that loved us very much. I'm also a Navy veteran and uh, have some, like I said, I had seven kids, some seven amazing kids, and uh, been married 21 years. I want to just talk about parenting. Parenting is hard work. It's not very easy. Um, I'm still evolving as a parent and have a lot still to learn about being a parent. Um, but I've learned a lot uh, from my kids and from my wife through the years. I want to provide some insight on how I have gotten better or at least improved some things in, as far as my parenting is concerned. Um, even though we always get compliments on our kids uh, when we're out in the public, uh, there are still some things that I notice that when we're home that could be improved upon. So and this is a discussion on how I've tried to learn throughout the years and how to be a better parent. Um, I'm still learning every, you know, day to day with each of my kids. Um, I've come to this conclusion uh, that as I learned from my kids themselves uh, that, there are, that there are better ways and different ways to teach each, each one of them. Um, there are as I understand them and as I learn from them, there I know, realize that there are different ways that I can teach them and uh, train them and discipline them. As I've watched them grow, they've also helped me, helped to teach me how to become a better parent. Um, today I'm going to discuss a little bit about how that's happened. When my kids were young, I found out that I uh, tended to teach and train uh, much as I'd been taught and as much as I'd been raised. And, you know, you, as a kid, you're when your parents do something you don't like, or they do something that uh, really irritates you, you're like, I'll never parent like that. Well, some of those things that comes through as a parent, you do it anyway, <laughs> because that's what you've learned. That's what you've been, that's the way you were raised, so that's how you do it. Thankfully, though, um, as I got older, um, there were more, mat more mat parenting material available. There's much more parenting uh, material av available to uh, help learn from as I work with the kids. Um, even today, there is mu much more uh, training and material available than there used to be when I was a kid on how to best train your kids and how to, how to teach them. Um, first point is going to focus on my first child. A little daughter with my stubborn will and headstrong ways. She taught me uh, as much about me as I probably taught her about her <laughs> and how to be, you know, be a better child. Uh, with her strong will and determination, I figured I needed to have a, a firm authority in her life um, because that's, that's kind of what I needed as I was growing up. Um, firm but not harsh. Uh, but certainly uh, it, there were times when she knew how to push my buttons and uh, she still does today for that matter. My second point is that as she grew older and we had, had more kids, um, it was easy to see how different they were <laughs> individually and um, how they each required a different mode of discipline and training. And along with their mom's help a lot, um, I, be, I learned how to become a better dad uh, with that. Each child that we've had is kind of like the proverbial snowflake. They're completely different. Even though they have the same parents and they're in the same environment and they're around the same people, each one is completely and totally different. So I've had to learn how to discipline and train them in different manners. And uh, each, actually as they grow older, they help you learn how to best teach them, how to train them. Um, of course, their mom has been a tremendous help in helping me become a better father as well. With each new child, it's, it's been a new blessing and a new way to communicate with that blessing uh, as they grow older. Finally, my last point is this. That as my kids reach adulthood and start starting to get there, they uh, come into new stages in their life. Each one as I watch them grow up. And um, I noticed that my methods have changed. Um, I've, adapt, I've adapted as they mature. And um, 
My third point is that as uh, the, from the time I first became a father to the father that I am today, I can honestly say my children have taught me as much uh, about parenting and, uh, and love as I've taught them about, uh, as I've taught them. It's truly a privilege to see them uh, mature and grow up, and uh, I've got a long ways to go with some of them yet. Uh, parenting it helped me grow as a man, as a husband, and as a father. I'm glad to say I'm not the same father today. I'm not the same father today that I was when I first started out with that uh, first little bundle of joy, a little angel that I have in my arms. I'm going to close with this. My oldest child now, that little girl, is uh, I didn't mean to get emotional. <laughs> is going to be married in a few months, and. Uh, my oldest boy is in college, and I can't wait to see what's in store for the rest of my kids as they grow up and how much I'll uh, learn from them as they continue to grow. And my name is Jake Jacobs, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Jake, a little bit of humor. Uh, people say, you know, you wouldn't take a million dollars for them. Well, nobody's offered me. <laughs> <laughs> All right.